Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a little bit of a different video today, guys. I want to have a discussion. As we get prepared for FC 25, I felt that this video was a very important one because everybody at the beginning of a new Ultimate Team specifically is always faced with the question because it's the most popular time to do this and everybody has them, FC points. Do you spend on them? Do you not? And guys, I think the answer is you shouldn't. And I want to open up to you guys today and talk about my past of this game, when I used to spend FC points, how it made me feel, and how it's so much better, so much more passion and freeing, honestly, without spending points on this game. But also show you guys how FC24, this last year of this game, was the best game ever for free-to-play players, but also how EA is at its worst, pushing people to spend money into the game, and how this last FC was the most paid to win FC ever. So it's going to be a fun one today, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, this is coming from a place where I'm remembering things that happened in FC 24 that I want to acknowledge and remember how we felt then. I vowed to make this video and videos like this, like we do every single year and always on the channel, we're talking about how to succeed in this game without spending money because you you shouldn't. You don't have to spend money in this game. But especially around this time and with the messy glitch and everything that happened with that, there was a lot of frustration. There was the boycotts. We had a lot of conversations as a community on the Twitch streams, in the YouTube videos, really upset and frustrated with EA. There's a lot of content creators that were talking about this sort of thing. And this is one of the things that I vowed to do was make a video about this. Now, always, if you know me, we've been making videos about not spending money on this game and learning the market and being free to play for five years. Guys, just a little bit of history on me. I used to be somebody who spent FC points. I started playing FIFA 10 years ago in FIFA 15, and I thought, oh, the only way that I can get some of these good players and get coins is by spending on these store packs, right? So I would put on 20, 30, 40 dollars like once a month. Not super often. It wasn't super draining to me. Um, but I know where that can lead. That can lead to addiction and really, really bad habits, spending money on the game because there's that rush and there's that chase, right? But I was somebody who spent points in this game. I spent money and I would I look at the bank statement and I would look at what I was spending and I'm like, what I got in the game as kind of the compensation for that, it was just like not worth it. When I came down to it, after about a year or two of looking at that, I was just like, why why am I doing this you know and that's where it clicked for me like I think I saw some people that were playing the game that were trading and working the market and I had always had curiosity with the market and I would try to trade but I really didn't get it and that's where it kind of clicked for me like I don't need to spend money on this game because you can do everything with coins that you can generate yourself and as I realized that it wasn't even that difficult to do that over the course of the year. And really, it's not even about learning how to trade and being a good trader and being on the market all the time. It's more so about just managing your club in a smarter way. We'll get into that. But I wanted to share my past with you guys because it was around FIFA 18 time where I really got into the market and into trading. And that's what inspired this video as well because I knew there were so many people um, or inspired my YouTube channel because I knew there were so many people that were spending money on the game that um, you didn't have to. And I knew how I felt after spending money and I knew how a lot of other people felt that like it wasn't worth it and the packs just kept getting crazier and the content was getting better but at the same time we just felt like that's the way the game was pushing us well here we are in fc 25 and it's still the same way this game is more pay to win than ever but at the same time it's more free to play than ever and that's what i want to talk to you guys about because this game is built to make you to spend money guys we see it all the time think about this last year in fc 24 the craziest store packs we have ever seen I, what was the most expensive store Seven hundred and fifty thousand coins maybe it was like four or five thousand fc points I mean, we thought we were going to have a 1 million coin pack. That's definitely happening this year in FC25. 100% that is happening. This is EA's biggest business by far. Guys, they even added a new FC point tab in here. It always used to be 12,000 FC points was the highest one you could buy. Now there's 18,500 FC points that you can buy because the packs keep getting bigger. So they got to give you more FC points that you can buy, right? And that's just the way that this is going for EA because this is their business. And I... Yeah, it seems really scummy to us and it feels really bad that they kind of prey on that gambling and that's the part that frustrates us the most type of situation and rightfully so to be completely honest because 
I don't think they do enough to help people that have gone too far in terms of the gambling, in terms of the opening packs and spending money that they shouldn't or that they could not afford. I think that's where EA does not help out the most. Personally, I know there's like limits that you can set in the game, but like that's I don't think that's good enough. I think they can do more on that front. But anyways, um, as we've noticed over the years, this is EA's way they make money is the in-game purchases with the packs. And again, that's the stuff that just makes us... We, we don't like that. We do not like that at all. But at the same time, the community has been asking for more grindable content, more ways to play this game that doesn't involve spending money. FIFA 17, we got SBCs. We have new game modes like Division Rivals, Foot Champions that have come in the last four or five, six years. I guess Foot Champions is FIFA 17 as well. Squad Battles has been somewhat new. And then, of course, we have Evolutions. We have all these new things in the game that make this game more free to play than ever. Evolutions is the biggest addition in terms of content to this game. I think since SBCs, guys, this is crazy. Like just the whole concept of this is absolutely nuts. And I absolutely love it. And it's gonna get even better for FC25, evidently, with more common evolutions, more of them dropped, and a new upgrade system that's gonna make players easier to upgrade, whereas before it felt like your player could not be evolved as many times because they would hit the ceiling of the power curve and the evos were not dropped in enough succession to keep multiple players going like you had a couple but it wasn't like a full team until you got to like later on or like the end of the year and that seems like it's changing with more content coming in fc25 in the evolution section so and even with more game modes more rewards than ever it's it's never been more free to play guys so why is free to play the best way to play this game? I want to make a case for some of you guys that are maybe still spending FC points or you see it as the only viable option to play this game. I want to make a case for the free to play. The number one reason to not be spending money on this game is because you lose no money. That money that you're spending, which for some people can be a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars per year, that's money that you're going to have to go use in other areas. Maybe make your life better in some other area where it is where you could use that money. Or even if it's just saving for something, right? I'm not a financial advisor um, or anything of that. But it's just you have that you have that extra money to not be out and not lose on this game. Which is something that, to be completely honest, if you're spending money on this, it's really just like tossing that money away. Yes, it is pretty cheap entertainment. If you kind of play a lot of hours in this game, you can do the math, you can do the hours calculation. It is pretty cheap entertainment. But at the end of the day, you know, buying a set of golf clubs is something that you could use for a couple of years. I like to golf, right? That's the first example that I can think of. That can last you a couple of years. And uh, this is, is gonna last you a couple of months. And then the money that you spent is gonna be for cards that were outdated. And you're gonna wanna replace that with new money spent and new cards and you just see how the cycle keeps going, right? So you, you lose no money if you, if you uh, play free to play. Now, this one for me, I found so true after I stopped spending little bits of money here on this game, right? Which seems so harmless to spend, ah, 20 bucks here. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna put $5 on for this evolution here. EA got so much money off of evolutions, which I'll say this too. I don't have as big of an issue with evolutions, near as big of an issue as I do with the store because evos don't promote the gambling. And I think the coins to FC points ratio is way off here anyway. It's very cheap FC point wise. I don't have an issue with FC points here. I have an issue with the store because the store promotes the gambling with the packs, with the rush. This is something that you're creating a card that you have that you're going to be going and playing games with and upgrading yourself. Probably a passion player, maybe a meta player for your team, but this is more you controlled and the store is so much them controlled. So I don't have a problem as much with this. It's the store that's the issue. But guys, that reason number two why free to play is the best is you have way more passion playing with players that you are going to grind their sbcs for or playing with players that you have spent your hard-earned coins on when you go and work the market and learn supply and demand and get your first million coins that feeling to see all the digits up there in the top if you've never hit a million before is insane it's amazing the rush you can get when you sell the card it's awesome the success you feel as you do that the ability to go and buy players on the market is one of the most freeing things in this game i think you can experience so having the coins which we always say coins are king having that just creates a whole lot more passion right imagine this you're matching up against somebody in weekend league in October of this new FC 25. You've got an all gold team with like one or two specials and maybe two Evo cards because you've been free to play, haven't spent a dime, right? And you face somebody who's definitely been spending money, credit card FC with crazy high rated informs. They've got Graham Hansen, five star, five star, and they've got Messi in their team, FC 25 Messi, right? And you're like, man, this guy spend money for sure. And you beat him three, two. 
the amount of passion and like the success you feel as being the underdog in that situation and beating somebody who spent coins on the game, that is also one of the top tier feelings in this game. And that's something that you can kind of chase and enjoy as well by not spending money on the game is having that peace of mind like, hey, I just smacked that guy around in Division Rivals and I'm in Division 1 or the Elite Division with this free-to-play team, which still is meta. That's the one thing that is really a topic of conversation too if you're not spending money on this game. You might be like, Nate, I'm going to lose um, games because I'm not having the most meta team. There is a little bit of conversation to be had there, but like I said, to have the most high tier meta team in this game, you have to spend more FC points than ever because the pack weight on top tier players has never been worse. And those players end up getting more expensive than ever, so you can't really afford them at the same time either. Like I said, the crazy packs in the store that EA make you feel like you have to open, which I wish I could show you at the moment, but they've taken them completely out because it's the end of the game. Um, they make you feel like you have to open those to get enough coins or to get enough players to go do the SBCs or have a chance at packing one of the insane players. Like the passion that you can have, it's way more fun and way more freeing when you do it all by yourself. Now, the third thing I'll say is it's less stressful too, man, because when you're spending money on something, especially like this game, you're gonna expect something. You spend money on a pack in the store, you're gonna be like, oh shoot, I better get something good here or I'm really gonna feel bad. And when you don't get something good, which is gonna happen seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times out of 10, then you're gonna feel pretty bad, right? And you're gonna be like, well, I gotta go spend money again to try to get you know better than that. Or you're like, well, I'm just out of luck and it's just boom over and then you feel bad, right? You're gonna feel the opposite. You're gonna feel the absolute opposite. Every time you pack something sick from a rivals that you've grinded with your free to play team, from an objective that you claim that hits a big pack, from doing an SBC player that you've crafted without spending a dime, it hits different, man. It is so much less stressful. And if something bad happens to your account, like if you do a bad SBC, you're like, hey, you know what? It's whatever. I didn't spend any money on this and I don't have any monetary like pressure attached to my account. That's one of the best feelings as well. You don't have to feel bad about getting nothing in packs anymore either. If you get something bad from a pack, it's like, ah, oh well, I'll do the next one for free because I uh, play this game free to play and I have coins and I can trade a little bit on the market and I know how to work my account and be smart with my account so that I can uh, keep going on this game, right? That's one of the best feelings as well. Now, obviously the biggest argument about not spending FC points on this game is that you're gonna have to spend more time. And there is a little bit of truth to that argument, guys, but if you're spending money on this game, if you're spending FC points, you're probably checking content every day, you're probably watching YouTube videos. You're probably looking at the new SBCs, evolutions, and objectives that are released too. At least you're checking content, right? Because that's how this game conditions us to think as well. And to be honest, you're not going to have to spend that much more time. What you're going to have to spend a little bit more time is just learning small, intricate things about the game that happen repetitively that you can take advantage of all the time. It's not about learning the market and being able to trade with players and make coins yourself and be the best trader there possibly is. It's just about doing small things right along the way that can lead your account to great success. It's about buying informs when they're at discard, waiting for them to rise, buying fodder when it's cheap, waiting for it to rise, selling players by watching the YouTube videos, learning the market, selling players before others do. When the market crashes happen because of X, Y, and Z, when you see that there's stuff coming, selling before, like Black Friday, right? People always have to sell three, four weeks before Black Friday, maybe three, because the crash is going to start two weeks before or one week before. But then you know when to sell, when to buy, to time the market better so that you are not losing out on coins, right? That's how EA make a ton of people open packs in this game is the market crashes because of content that they release and hype of the community. And then boom. They feel like they got to go to the market and spend on these packs because they've lost a whole bunch of coins. OMG, my gold Ronaldo has gone from 4 million coins to 2.5 million coins. Black Friday market crash. Well, I just lost a mil and a half. Well, if you would have sold him two weeks ago, he would have been 3.7 mil and you would have lost 300K and you'd have a million more coins in your account. That's the sort of stuff that is a little bit more time watching a YouTube video on the channel that we release, learning the market, spending a little bit of time looking at that stuff. That's the stuff you're going to pick up on and learn through trial and error. You're going to make mistakes as well. It's okay. Was I a great trader at first? Heck no, man. It took me a couple of years to figure out what cards to buy, what cards to sell, why people are buying certain things in and out. Even some of the trades on these videos back then that I was recommending, I look at now and I'm like, what the heck was I doing, man? So everybody's going to make mistakes, but that's part of the fun. And it just hits so much more different when you're doing it that way than when you're spending 
the money. Another trade-off, like I kind of already mentioned, but I need to mention it again really quickly, is you kind of have to give up a little bit of the dream, at least in the early stages of the game, that you're going to pack or that you're going to have the best ultimate team possible. If you're thinking that you're going to be free to play and you're going to be able to afford 94 R9 in the first two, three, four, five months of the game, honestly, maybe three months, probably not going to happen unless you trade like crazy and get a whole bunch of coins or get lucky with some pack pulls, right? Like I said, the top tier market on this game is going to be more expensive than ever, and it's going to continue in FC25 just because of the way this game is shaped. You kind of have to give up that, like, I want to have the best ultimate team possible and keep getting the best card, the best card, so I can be better than everybody else. Kind of, you have to give that up a little bit. You're still going to be very competitive because the SBCs, the Evos, and all that other content that they drop is almost just as good as what's released in packs, guys. Like, let's be honest. Especially here in the end game with footies and preseason, you have 99 cards that are in SBC. If you compare that to what's happening through the rest of the year, you probably have 97 rated cards in SBCs and 99 rated cards in packs. Sure, it's going to be really hard to pack the 99s, but the SBCs with the 97s, we're going to find the good value ones, the meta ones that are going to be worth doing, and you're going to be able to take advantage of the content that EA release and still have a sick team. You may not have the 10 of 10 best team, but you will be competitive in any division, any skill level in this game, 100%. With all the new ways you can get content, packs, evolutions, SBCs, all of it, right? That's why I say this game is more free to play than ever. So I just wanted to kind of bring you guys this whole spiel today, to be completely honest. I wanted to bring you this because this game is going to push you, especially in the early stage, to try to spend FC points. And I want to I want to say this as well. My goal in making this video is not to make you feel like you have to not spend money. If it's something where you're like, Nate, I want to spend $10 so that I'm set for any evolution that I want to do for like six months, that's fine in my opinion. But if you're like, Nate, I'm somebody who's spending thousands per year opening FC points and I didn't know there was another way to do this, I'm all in. I think that's the type of person that should stop spending the FC points. And I'm not telling you how to spend your money or to not spend your money because who am I to tell you how to do that? But I just wanted to use my personal experience and the things that we have talked about in the past every single year, every single game, FIFA 18, FIFA 19, all the way till now FC 25, we have been learning and seeing and watching evolve this game evolve over time. We know it in and out. We've got a lot of knowledge. We've got a lot of experience. And we can really judge, estimate, and see a lot of things that EA are going to do. Not perfectly. I'm definitely not perfect, man. Because this game, the content's always moving. And EA could do anything and everything at a certain given time. But it's just more about the community that's around it. When you're free to play, there's that extra passion. There's that extra freeness and openness as well. Less pressure. And it's just a whole lot more fun. So everybody's in different positions in life with their hobbies. I'm not telling you to spend or to not spend. Personally, I'm just trying to present to you today, guys, why you shouldn't spend the FC points if you don't want to. And it's, you definitely don't have to. So that's the whole point of this video today. But I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments. Sound off down below because there's been a lot of hot topic conversation, especially after this happened. A lot of people mad about FC points. I totally understand that. And I'm with you with that, man. I'm taking the same sort of uh, stance that I had back in FIFA 19 where I was very against FC points because I didn't like how they impact me or impact people that play this game. And we're still doing it here in FC 25. Nothing has changed. It's just a new game and it's more free to play than ever. So again, sound off down below in the comments how you feel about this. If you spend FC points, if you did and now you stopped and how much more you know, freedom that you have in playing the game. Those are the stories that are going to you know, um, sound off the loudest in the comments for people that are still spending that want to stop. And if you do need to stop, if you realize that you have a problem with this, make sure that you seek help. Tell a friend. Talk to one of us in the streams. There have been so many people in the streams that have mentioned, I got a problem with this. I need help. What do I do? And, and we get them hooked up, you know? So that's one thing I wanted to mention as well. It's not a problem. You're not a problem if you're spending money on this game. Um, but I just wanted to pre present the opportunities and how you don't have to and how you can have a lot more fun. So I'll stop yapping. But if you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it and make sure to subscribe to the channel for all the FC25 preparation videos because we're now in the single digits. We're less than a week away, guys, from this game. And I'm ready for it to be here. But it's been Nathan with a I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace out.